Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Thank goodness, she actually made it. And here we are! Whoa, nice place! Yeah, this part of town is pretty fancy. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Huh? But this is the first floor. Guess these old Kyoto buildings have all sorts of surprises. So, which way do the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? Alright, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man... Man... <laughs> well, guess we gotta head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Hey there. Hey, what's up? Uh-huh. Hey. out the hot springs over there right now if you consider how the garden is fenced are you seriously trying to peep you do know you can get arrested for that right of course not i'm not stupid but just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence close your eyes and focus then you'll see everything inside your mind give it up you idiot no way you can see a damn thing like that give up never nothing is impossible and you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed. What? I never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up!
Come on in. Anything catch your eye? Much appreciate. Why? A bandosu. Good evening. Is this not amazing? We are here in Kyoto. This is true Japanese aesthetic. Simple but elegant. Oh, just look at this pagoda. My, my. How does it stand with only matchsticks? Behold, the wonders of Japan. On patrol as well? Just kidding. I plan on enjoying myself on this trip. I only hope there won't be any trouble while... Hey there, Odagiri-kun. Have you tried these complimentary snacks? Ah, they're so tasty. No, I haven't had the chance. To... There's nothing left. Aren't those snacks supposed to be limited to one per person? Oh, really? Oops. I ate them all. Sorry. <sighs> I figured. I'll just pretend there weren't any in the first place. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. Then, after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. And this year, I've got a lot to say. Oh, oh, by the way, have you checked out this vending machine? You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe I should buy some as a souvenir. It's you. If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there.
We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. <sighs> but it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? <sighs> Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but... In the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started? That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end, for my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together, okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. Hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. I also wish to try wearing one, but uh, 
It was très difficile. Very challenging. The string, it got tangled up and... Uh, and my clothes came off. But you look fabulous. I am envious. I wanted to feel like the evil magistrate. You know, the kind who says things like, Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am quite villainous on the tele... Mm, on the TV. Oh, hey. You already changed into your Yukata? Damn, you're fast. Dude, you won't believe what Miyamoto did today. Help me talk some sense into him. And do you always have to wear that stupid jersey? Of course I do. This way, I'm ready to run wherever, whenever. Duh. That's the problem! You literally just run off! You have no idea how exhausted I am because of you! Do you know what this guy did? He went on a mad dash up the hill at Kiyomizu Dera. The rest of our group had to chug along to try and keep up with him. Look, man, if you see an incline, you gotta run uphill. That's what a real athlete does. Right? It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened. But I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. Oh! You're wearing the yukata! Oh, it looks good on you. You look kind of different than usual. Good different. <laughs> you know, my group actually passed yours earlier today. I guess you didn't notice me, though. I thought about calling out to you, but I just couldn't. Well, I, I don't really know why, but it's just when you're with your friends from the dorm, you're like a different person. You wear certain expressions around them that I never get to see when you're with me. Not that it really matters or anything. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to be all weird about this. So basically, I, I was feeling lonely and all I wanted was for you to notice me. Ooh, glad I got that off my chest. I just wanted to walk around Kyoto with you. Sorry for getting all weird like that, but I really did want to spend time with you in Kyoto. Oh, hey. I must say, the tour today wore me out. I was looking forward to going sightseeing around this historical city, but... Yeah, it was one thing after another today. Some of the older ladies in our tour group passed out right in front of us. I'm glad you were there, Keisuke. Thanks to you, the situation wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Nevertheless, it was a shocking turn of events. Yeah, even the tour guide passed out. The way you took charge and directed traffic was really impressive, though, Odagiri-kun. Have you ever considered becoming a police officer in the future? Huh? No, I hadn't given it any thought before. Uh, let's head to the hot springs. I'm covered in sweat after that whole ordeal. I saw Yukari-chan and Kirijo-senpai together earlier. They looked like they were having fun chatting with each other. You don't see that very often. Just now. I saw Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san leave the vicinity together. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? 
I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> Is that right? But I think it's chance encounters like this that end up holding true meaning. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, Everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. But we should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. Today I saw Kiyomizu. Kiyomizu was so high up. And then I saw Kinkaku. Kinkaku was so shiny. Tomorrow I will go see Ginkaku. Ginkaku versus Ginkaku. Who will be the winner? This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Although, it seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. It's already the last night of our trip. All we ever did was visit the temples, but I think I'm gonna miss it here once we get home. There's just one thing I regret. Where is the girl of my dreams? Aren't romantic encounters supposed to happen on school trips? That's all you ever talk about. Isn't it about time you grow up? Wow, look at you all high and mighty, even though you're the one sneaking glances at Takeba-san and her yukata. I wasn't looking at her. The 
Sup? What? Well, like it or not, you're coming with me. Just let me know when you're ready. Junpei was looking for you downstairs. Oh, hey! This trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. Since we were in different groups, it was also kind of a bummer. You do? So we both felt the same way. <sighs> you know, when I visited the temples earlier today, I kept thinking about you. Like, what it'd be like if you were there. Or if you'd like this keychain I got for you. I even saw a Buddhist statue that reminded me a little of you. <laughs> but now that I've gotten a good look at you, I don't really see the resemblance. You know what? I think I like it best when I'm with you. <laughs> Let's go on a date once we get home, okay? Sorry for taking up so much time. Let's go on a date once we get home, okay? Do you happen to see any tears in my pants at all? Maybe that was a bit much. The Kamagawa River has a nice ambiance, huh? You see, Odagiri-kun was trying to skip rocks across its surface, but he lost his footing and... Can we please drop the topic? Besides, I'd say you're partially at fault for challenging me to hit the opposite bank, Keisuke. Aw, don't you want to see if it's possible? The wind was blowing in the perfect direction and all. What's the point in doing that? Because it'd make me happy? But I'm asking what good would come out of doing all that. It was still pointless. Don't you remember our elementary school days? We used to practice skipping rocks all the time. Yes, but we're in high school now. You're a third year for crying out loud. Looked like you were going all out though, to the point where you slipped and fell. Again, can we please change the subject? Oh, you're so scary, Odagiri-kun. I'm glad that Kirijo-senpai seems to be feeling better. Anyway, my friends and I are really into the dessert they serve at the cafe there. Oh, do you want to come with us after school sometime, Mitsuru-senpai? Yes, of course. I'd like to try this special strawberry parfait you mentioned. Okay, cool. It's a date, then. If you have any other recommendations, I'd love to hear them, Yukari. Oh, there's this new place one city over. Sup? So I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Did you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls would come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. 
that we can say we didn't know, that it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh, shit. Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Michiru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this, we were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Hey, not that way! Is this rock formation natural? Hey, is something hiding in the rock shadows? Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. In the shadows? No. There's no one here. See? <laughs> you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! Mitsuru and Agus are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? It's now or never! You idiots! I told you not to be careless! What? Oh, so this is our ghost's true identity. them with noise good plan uh what herring why is it red he can explain later ah, what was that yukari what's wrong what happened there was a splash just now we know where they are now this is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that! Yeah, see? But you said we can't just stay here, Junpei-kun. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. <laughs> it's just a toy. But still, isn't it kind of weird to find this here? I detect a presence straight ahead. What? Uh, 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 
<laughs> Wait! This is just a misunderstanding! S Silence! Consider yourselves executed! It was nice knowing you. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Well, I'm never gonna forget Kyoto. Not like I could, even if I wanted to. <laughs> you weren't kidding about the whole execution thing. Just try to forget about it. Crap, here they come! yourselves damn not even a dirty look make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. In the shadows? No, there's no one here. See, you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. The wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! Mitsuru and Agus are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? Why is it red? He can explain later! Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that! Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural-born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with ya. All right, let's move. Hmm? Uh, 
No, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> well, well, obviously! How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. I don't know how, but we made it out, all thanks to you. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh. Looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? Uh, uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, whatever. Mm. This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Koromaru's really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. 
couldn't sleep right. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru is thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days.